Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. It's a little cold here. I'm continuing with this uh, experiment, with this exercise in which you listen to me and you try to repeat the note that I have done. I will use as the exercise number one. This is the number two. I will use an ultra recorder with five notes C, D, E, F, G. These are the five notes. I will play these five notes um, about 16 times in, um, in different order. But I will don't say you which note I will start. So just the beginning is not easy. There is two solutions possible. Probably both could cooperate each other. Uh, to remember the note has an absolute, like if I play this, you remember that is a D. It's not impossible because we, are, we have in our memory C, D, E, F, G. So if I play E. If I play C. If I play F. This is possible. It's something that arrives with the time, I think. Another possibility is when you listen uh, five notes. You try to check the movement. The first we don't know, so the first is incognito, but the second is lower. Ta to okay. Then the third T is higher and is higher also as the first. Ta to ta to to ta so we have just an idea. Ta to ta and then Ta, higher, higher, very higher. Ta, a little lower. Ta, 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 ta. So begin with this uh, geometrical relationship. You can arrive to solve the problem. I will not see the solution, but it's easier. Uh, now we play the 16 exercise, the 16 samples. I forgot to tell you that it will be no repetition. So we have just five notes, five names. There is no 2E, 2F, 2D. And this is easier because you have five possibilities.
last one. And here is the score, so you can check what you have done. Uh, but of course you check what you have done also just for listening, is the same what I did or not. I think it's very useful to exercise our mind to recognize before then the note, the movement, going up, down, in a melodical like scale, way step, or with the jumps, with lips, larger, smaller, etc. Bye bye.